This is John from Flat Cat Gear. Before we talk about lighting a stove, we need to talk about what happens when a stove is lit. So when you light that vapor-air mixture, it's going to burn, and when it burns, it heats up. So if the gas temperature gets up to 500 degrees, using the ideal gas law, that means that the volume of that gas has to double. Therefore, that hot air has to come out of your stove, and that's what you're seeing here in this video. So that example is extreme just to get your attention. Now, let's take a look at, you know, volumes that are close to your stove. So it turns out that a baby food jar is just about the right size for a stove, particularly if you're gonna compare it to something like a Pepsi G, or in this case, what we have is something similar to a white box stove. The volume is about the same. And you notice when you look at this, you'll have, once you fill up the stove, you have this, this air vapor that's sitting in the stove. And so when you light it, that's what it wants to burn because it's enclosed within that stove. Now we're gonna take that same baby food jar and I put about a quarter inch hole in here to give you another example. Because not only does that gas want to expand, it has to expand through the exit. And in this particular case, I've restricted it down to a quarter of an inch. And this is where you're gonna see what's gonna happen when we light this stove. Now the reason this is interesting is uh, if any of you have made a penny stove, they give you specific examples, don't make the hole too big because if it's too big, the flame can get inside the stove and the stove can explode. So here's an example now where I've taken the lid and just set it on top of the, uh, the baby food jar. And you can see what happens when we light this stove. Here's an example of two different stoves that have restricted openings on the top. Because of that, you would expect the gases to come out at higher velocity than lighting a Pepsi stove. Now another example is your basic tea light stove. Now this is a very nice stove because if you look at it, there's really not much entrapped air volume within that stove. And so therefore, you're not gonna get the same kind of reaction as you can with something that has a well in it.
So at Flat Cat Gear, we recommend that you use fire steel to light an alcohol stove. It's pretty simple to do. You hold the striker still, you take the rod, and you pull back on the rod. And the biggest, there's two advantages to that. Number one, that keeps your hands away from the stove. Number two, it sends a shower of sparks into your stove, making lighting it very easy. If you take a look at some of the videos you see on YouTube, you see a lot of people taking lighters and sticking it down in the stove. One of the problems is that as soon as you light it, people have a tendency to jerk their hand back, and that's when you've got a good chance of knocking over your stove. So we use a fire steel.